Hi, an effective lesson gets students thinking and allows them to communicate and ask questions, identifies their existing knowledge in the subject, and it helps them to retain more of what they learn. So in this video, we're talking about practical suggestions on how to plan effective tutorials. I'll be giving four tips. Stay tuned. So the first tip is to plan to check for understanding. So it is fantastic that you can go through two, three chapters a lesson. But the thing is, is it effective? Do they absorb what they are learning? So it is good that prior to the lesson to identify the main point as well as a supporting point to the material or to a particular chapter. So then we can plan what sort of questions we can ask them based on the main point as well as the supporting points. So when we actually have the lesson and the student answers the question, the thing is, does the student read it from the paragraph? It is better for them to answer in their own words to confirm that they really understand the material. Tip number two, to incorporate the student's interests into your lesson. A student actually learns that absorbs material better when it is related to their interests. So it is important that we take time to learn about our students' interests, aspirations, ambitions, even their hobby. So that uh, when we have the lesson, we can try to incorporate their interests. For example, if they like dinosaurs, so if you are teaching them science subject, we can use dinosaurs as the topic of interest. And if they are learning about English, we can use uh, dinosaurs as a subject for them to write essays. And even with math, we can use dinosaurs uh, to help them to understand calculations. For example, if you see two dinosaurs and then later two dinosaurs ran across the river, you have how many dinosaurs? I think you get the idea on that one. Point number three is to look into their past test papers because from their past test papers, you are able to identify what are their strengths as well as their weaknesses. So once we identify their weaknesses, we can spend more time zooming in on those uh, weaknesses by giving them more exercises. For example, if it is the subject of biology, if we identify when they answer the test uh, that they are not that sure about photosynthesis or the process of food nutrition, then we can concentrate more on that. And uh, if it is math, we notice that they mark right for most of the other calculations, but when it comes to fractions or quadratic expressions, they have uh, problems answering that. Then we may try to give them more exercises on those weaknesses. Particularly, I find that uh, usually they have problems with the written questions. Usually with the numerical uh, expressions or questions, they are okay with that. But with written questions, they might get stuck. So probably that's the one that we need to spend more time on. Point number four is to reflect and to gain feedback from our student. So we reflect on the lesson. Is there any improvement needed? And also we can ask uh, feedback from our student, how, what they like about the lesson, what they like to see more, what they don't like. So when we learn that from the student, we can help to make the needed adjustment so that we can help them to be more effective in absorbing the lesson. So, so hopefully you have enjoyed this and uh, please subscribe and share and see you again in the next video.